What's up everybody, my name is Vince, welcome to the channel. And today, we're gonna to show you a simple attachment that could potentially make this already awesome barrel grip jigsaw even better. And it's coming right up. <laughs> So this new Milwaukee Fuel M18 Barrel Grip Jigsaw, it has a pretty awesome shoe already, a base plate. It's highly adjustable with detents. All you gotta do is use your included Allen key. Okay, you loosen it up, you slide your Allen key, there's detents, it locks the shoe in place, and then you just lock that thing back down with the Allen key. Pretty awesome. But one of the things I like to do with my battle grip jigsaw is I like to use it to cope molding. If you wanted to see me cope molding with a battle grip jigsaw, go on over to this video here. It's pretty awesome. Teaches you how to speed the process up. You can use that technique to cope base molding, chair rail molding, crown molding, all kinds of moldings. You're gonna love it, go check it out. So what I decided to do was give the Collins Tool Company a call and ask them if they had a coping foot for Milwaukee's brand new jigsaw. And lo and behold, they do! And they sent it out to me and it's in this package right here that we're gonna open right now. Whoa. We open the envelope and there's an envelope. There you go, it's, it's a testament to the ripstop fabric, bro. What do you Look at it. Yo, I'm not seeing it. I heard it, but I'm not seeing it. Pretty cool. And if you like, pretty cool outcomes. You know, like when you hear something you don't want to hear, but it turns out that it's not as bad as you thought it was going to be, smash the like button. We have Collins Universal Coping Foot, okay? Now, I believe you can actually, from what I understand, get this Universal Coping Foot to even fit Milwaukee's M12 jigsaw, if you wanted, as well as, here they are. These are the Bosch T244Ds. These are awesome. Awesome, awesome blades, especially for coping with your jigsaw. They are the best of the best. You have the coping foot. You have the attachment plate that allows it to fit on the jigsaw, as well as some instructions. Now, Quite frankly, it says, Collins Tool Company, made in the USA, coping foot, a versatile base plate substitute for the professional reciprocating jigsaw. Allows intricate freehand cuts. Now, this is true. The Collins coping foot, cope crown up to 135 degrees. Combine bevel and pitch to 45 degrees plus. Sink cutouts close to the backsplash. Reduce arm fatigue in heavy coping. Allows cuts that are difficult or impossible with factory base. Change bevel in mid-kerf. Plunge cut on a bevel. Pretty awesome. Allows sawzall work in many places. Plunge and drag for shallow cuts. So this is very versatile. And how does it work? Well, quite frankly, if you were to 
use your standard base plate in a lot of those applications, you wouldn't be able to approach your work. You, you would, because of this flat base plate, it, it would, it's not gonna work. This allows you, like it says in that description, to manipulate the saw to make those intricate cuts, okay, closer to the blade itself. Pretty awesome. So Collins thoughtfully includes some instructions on how to install your coping foot. Okay, flat out says remove the mounting screw from the flat base of your saw. Put the flat base in a safe place, so you'll want to put that back in your case. Set this aside, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna use your retaining screw. Place the Collins coping foot on the mounting channel, not quite touching the back edge of the blade, okay? Check to see if there's clearance. Between the, the bearing and the coping foot, you may not need any shims. So if you did need some shims, they include them for you to use. They also have supplemental instructions. If you were going to install this Collins coping foot on let's just say the Bosch 470, the Festool 300, the DeWalt 317, or the DeWalt 331. Got bad news though. If you wanted to install this coping foot on your Milwaukee M18 fuel bowel grip jigsaw, where all you got? <laughs> That's right. Well, that will work. Now, we want to just make sure, and that's where this washer, it kind of holds it in what would seem to be perfectly. But I will say this. We're going to judge. We're going to judge by eye here. If you can see. Can you see this? Okay, we're going to look at the this space. We're going to judge by eye. Snug this down. And that's it. Okay, our finger guard remains in, in place. Now, we don't have a place to hold our Allen key anymore on the tool. But we want to test to make sure that our blade We'll insert in and out, and it's not contacting the coping foot. You can see that. It's perfectly, you seeing that? It's right down the middle. Now, if you needed to, if you wanted to fine tune that and adjust it, you could loosen your, your coping foot, make a fine tune adjustment. And then, Tighten it down, okay? If you're wondering which shims you'll need, you'll need the fat shim, the thickest shim, and the thin shim. I, I'm not certain what this shim was for, but I'm not, seeing, I'm not seeing a use for it, quite frankly. So let's just check for interference. We turn the tool on. Getting no interference. Let's see if we turn on oscillating. Okay. 
So even while it's oscillating, we're getting no interference. Now, this is important. <laughs> this would not be my normal coping table or rig. This is for demonstration purposes. And quite frankly, it takes some on hand time with the tool to get used to it. I'm used to using a different jigsaw with the Collins coping foot. So let's see how it goes. For this demonstration, I'm gonna turn the orbital action off. I don't feel like it's necessary. Let's give it a run, let's see how it goes. One thing I don't necessarily like, at least when I'm trying to do detail work, is the idea of an automatic function. I want to approach the wood knowing what my blade speed's going to be. I don't want it to ramp up and all of a sudden me move through the wood. I'm already pushing and then all of a sudden the speed ramps up and then I, the, the tool could lurch and mess up my cut. Maybe with some on hands tool time using the auto function, I could get used to that. But for now, we're just gonna set it to its fastest speed. Fine tuning. Some cheap, inexpensive files. And this is FJP. Boom. Look at that. Do you like that? Well, if you do, then smash the like button. Also, if this is your first time here and you like the idea of cool accessories that make awesome tools even more productive, then smash the like button, get subscribed, and tap the bell notification. Why do you want to tap the bell notification? Because we go live at least once a day. We interact with you. We talk to you. We answer your questions. Also, another reason to tap the bell is because some of those videos are emergency tool deal videos where we show you how to potentially save thousands of dollars on great tools. I mean, why spend thousands when you can spend hundreds? Get subscribed, tap the bell, and we'll see you all on the next one. I don't do it on the daily like I used to, right? But 
I haven't lost my touch. And it's the first time I'm using. It's like riding a bike, bro. You know what I mean? You ride one bike, pretty much you rode them all. Think about it. It's the first time I'm using the Copa foot on this barrel grip jigsaw. I think it went pretty doggone good. Listen, I would put, I would put that, I would put that cope in, in my house. I will say this. Ah, it might not be as balanced. with the 2.0, but it is more compact. And I think if you're gonna be running this all day, you might appreciate having the smaller battery. Just my two cents. I can't wait to use this more extensively. I'll let you know what I think. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.